Yo, 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 what's going on out there, Fight World? It's your boy Money back with another one, fam. And this one here is on two big dogs in this fight game. We have Frank the Ghost Mort, the undefeated top contender at the lightweight division. Frank is making his bones known and letting people know that he's a beast in the game. Then we had that killer that gorilla from Baltimore, Javante Tank Davis, the undefeated three-division world champion, the hottest young star in the game right now today, and arguably the face of boxing outside of Canelo Alvarez. Now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls all over the world, Javante Tank Davis is in beast mode, and he's ready to prove Earl Spence wrong, and he's ready to prove Frank Morton wrong, and he's want to go for a knockout in spectacular fashion. Javante Tank Davis is going into beast mode, and he want to prove a point in this fight to show people that he is the real deal for real, that he can beat any style in boxing, and that he ain't to be fucked with. You understand what I'm saying? Tank is on a mission to make Frank Martin an example. You feel me? He's not joking. He's not playing around. Um, he drew his line in the sand. He's not being friendly with nobody. This camp going to be one of the best camp of his life. And um, he's ready to go to war. Yeah, Javante Tank Davis is ready to go to war to show people why he is arguably the face of boxing. And why he's coming for that number one crown um, behind Canelo Alvarez. Now, in the midst of that, you have a young, hungry lion and Frank the Ghost Martin who want to show Javante Tank Davis that huh, I ain't now one of them, bro. I'm something different. You got your hands filled. You know what I mean? I put in the hard work. I grind my ass off. I train with the best of the best. I'm disciplined. You know what I mean? I don't have no mishaps. And I'm focused 120%. You know what I mean? I'm focused 120%. And I'm ready to put that work in as well. You grind hard, and I grind hard just as well. You know what I mean? Frank has been in the ring with Javante. They had sparred one another. Frank said it was good work. And he proved why he's Frank Mart. And people seen that he won no pushover. And with that being said, he ready to show Javante Tank Davis in June that um, you met your match, buddy. Yeah, you met your match. But Javante Tank Davis said ain't no match for him. You know what I mean? He said it's him and then it's everybody else. I'm going to repeat that. Tank said ain't no match for him. It's him and then it's everybody else. So it's him against the field. You understand? And he know what he's looking at. He know he's looking at a young, hungry man that's coming that's going to be determined. But he know he got to do certain things to break Frank Martin's wheel. And that's Tank is safe. We're not leaving no stone unturned, and ain't no safety on this Glock. You know what I mean? So that means he's going out there ready and willing to, to, to go to war and do everything he got to do to walk away with this victory. You understand what I'm saying? And I can't wait to see this fight, man. I can't wait. Because a, a, a focused Javante Tank Davis, a 100% focused Javante Tank Davis, is a fucking animal, a monster. A beast. Something that's, that's, you know what I'm saying, boxing probably never seen before. Being explosive, explosive as he is, going out there with the skill set that he got, the speed, the footwork, the IQ. Look here, man. We haven't seen the best tank yet. We haven't. And it just might be this man and Frank the Ghost Mort to bring the best Javante Tank Davis out. You know what I mean? A lot of people look at Frank. They try to discredit him. And say things like, oh, he don't deserve to fight. Or he haven't, I mean, he haven't accomplished what Devin Haney accomplished. He never been a world champion. He never fought for a title. da 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 this da 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 that Well, guess what? It don't take away from what he's done in the sport. It don't take away from what he's been showing us in the sport. You understand? And that you got to respect. And that you got to really open up your eyes and see who has Frank been fighting. And when you look at his, 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 his resume, he's been fighting quality opponents he's been fighting top contenders you know what i mean and that all that's all you can ask for when you're talking about fighting somebody that can push you to the limit and frank martin is one of them guys that can push you to the limit because frank don't know how to take no for an answer he never lost you know what i mean he never lost so in this head he the best motherfucker out there and i can respect that especially training with Derek james on the side of earl the truth spence jr and speaking of earl spence javante tank davis want to prove a point to earl yeah, he want to prove a point to Earl. He want to show Earl that you should never put your fight in the ring with me. You know what I mean? I understand. You think uh, I'm doing what's best for my fight. It's the best thing and this, that, and, and all that. 
But when I finish with him, you go wish you never. I repeat, when I finish with your fighter, you go wish you never put him in the ring with me and you go wish you took him in another direction. Because you know me. You know I'm an animal. You know I'm a beast. You know what I'm built like. And even though you think your fighter is the shit, you know I'm the shit. You know what I do in the ring. You've been my big brother longer than you've been his promoter. You understand? I've been rocking with you for a while now. Now, credit. It's business. It's not personal. I get it. But when I show you what I'm going to do with him, when I show you what I'm going to do with him, you're going to be like, damn, maybe I should have waited a, a, a year or two before I put Frank in the ring with that motherfucker. You know what I mean? But at the same time, Frank won his opportunity. Frank is a man. Frank knows what's at stake. You dig? And a lot of people try to say that Frank was ducking Shakur Stevenson, which was bullshit. Right? And I call bullshit on that because Frank wanted extra money. I can't knock the man for wanting extra money. To say he ducked Shakur, but he's fighting Javante Tank Davis, um, I don't think so. I mean, I don't think so. And that don't mean that, don't mean that I'm saying that um, Shakur is not on the level of a tank of things of that nature because Shakur is a fucking animal. He's a monster. It's just that, you know, you don't, you don't duck one monster, then go fight another monster. If you don't want to fight a monster at the moment, you just don't want to fight a monster at this moment. So that's how you know Frank was really on some, I want some extra bridges type shit, then we can get it on. And I mean, and like I say, I can't tell a man what he's worth when he's seeing the money. So that was that. But now that Frank took the fight with Javante Tank Davis and they going back and forth on Twitter, you know what I mean? Setting this thing on fire, promoting it already with Frank being in the gym already. You got to respect both of these dudes, bro. You got to respect both. You know what I mean? But Javante Tank Davis, man, the man is on a mission, bro. Like I said earlier, and I can't wait to see this tank knowing what's on the other side of him, right? Because these fights right here, um, it brings something different out of Javante Tank Davis. Yeah, these fights right here bring something different up out of him, bro. Because he understands the bragging rights and he understands the situation like this going to be brother versus brothers, right? Because you got Earl versus Tank up in there. So that means you're going to have a whole different type of crowd and, and, and the feeling. And, and it's like, oh, man, this is something you got to be around where people going to be like, man, you let so-and-so beat your ass. Or, man, you let so-and-so get off on you. Or this, that, and the third, right? This going to be one of those type of fights to where you need those bragging rights. You need those bragging rights to show that, look here, I'm the number one brother around this motherfucker. You feel me? I'm him, not you. I'm him when it comes to the culture. I'm him. You know what I mean? Y'all boys looking at me. Y'all boys trying to take out the what I got, and I ain't here to give it up no time soon. No time soon. So at the end of the day, once I'm done with Frank Mort, Earl Spence, you going to have a different level of respect for me. Frank Mort going to have a different level type of respect for me. Derrick James going to have a different level type of respect for me. And everybody else over in that camp. Because y'all ain't going to never want to put another one of y'all fighters in, in the ring with me after I do what I do to this boy. And I mean, that's the type of mission Javante Tank Davis is on, bro. Like I said, when you see him in the interview and they ask him about Frank Mort and, and do he want to fight with Frank Mort, the confidence that was oozing up out of him and the look on his face that shows that, yeah, I want that fight. It just shows you he got something to prove to Frank. He got something to prove. You know what I mean? Whether that spawn went, to his liking, or maybe it didn't go to his liking, but it was something about Frank Mort that put that look on on, on um, Tank face, and like he said, Earl go get his boy fucked up. You know what I mean? He want to prove that point, bro. He want to prove that point. And now the opportunity is here, and now we go see if Tank step all the way up to the plate, put in that work out there, and, and prove that point to Earl Spence, and prove that point to Frank Mort to make them say, you know. Job well done. We salute you, Tank. And, man, look here. You is him, and you is one bad motherfucker. But Frank is on a mission as well to make you say, Frank, you is him, and you one bad motherfucker. Only time will tell, and June is on the way. Straight like that, and I'm on to the next.